You're watching TVC News R. Nigerian Railway Corporation has test run the Lagos Abelkota standard gauge rail line, which is expected to drive faster the connection of passengers and freight to different destinations. Minister of Transportation Rutimi Amechi made this known during an interactive session on board the train. Mr. Amechi said Nigeria stands to generate more employment and revenue from increased economic activities along the corridor. The minister agreed that there is need for the organization to enhance its capacity and connectivity to the sea and airports. We expect that in the next one to two months we should get it back. Then they are continuing to the seaport. The moment they get to the seaport, they will kind of be congested. All this gridlock will go to just disappear. When they wake up and there's no gridlock. Because it, 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 is, it is sad to see anybody go to use trucks when the rails are there. This helps to develop our social economy in Nigeria. It will, and all states will be part of it. Anywhere the train passes through, it supports development. Moving all of these heavy, heavy containers, look at what will happen. Our road will be free. All these bottleneck people, man now are being wasted on the road, accidents, safety, everything will be removed. Generation of employment at the first instance, when um, this project was, uh, was awarded, the information I had was about 9,000 Nigerians were employed. Commerce is, you know, coming up little by little. And um, you, you can see that uh, a lot of the locals are being employed. We're keeping our feet on the ground, looking at the opportunity for our small traders, commuters, etc., etc., etc. I don't give a damn who puts it there. It doesn't matter whatsoever. And for more on this, we have the Managing Director, Nigeria Railway Corporation, Fidet Ohiria, joining us live. Uh, thank you very much. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, Nigeria. All right. And welcome uh, to a new dawn. <laughs> okay, uh, and you don't indeed. Well, uh, just like the minister said, that there's going to be a test run of three months, uh, free transport uh, services, rail services from Lagos to Abeokuta. So after that holiday, what is the plan next? How is the NRC going to you know, manage the rail line? Okay, as usual, on every new session we bring into operation, we have what we call a trial run to enable us to test the timing, the passenger outlook, and the government, especially of railway, to do the necessary, uh, take the necessary parameters and confirm the suitability for public use. So we do that for Karuna Abuja. We did the same thing. We are doing the same thing now for Itakbewari. And from Monday, we are going to start that from Iju to Abeokuta. This is the normal and uh, the guiding principle that we uh, deployed when we are starting a new track. After that, we go into what we call commercial operations. Mm -hmm. People have to pay. For, for the service. So, for the first mm. three months, it's bonus and uh, uh, what call it, dividend of double pricing. <laughs> it's good news for commuters in that area, what you call non commercial operation. Yeah. But then, how many coaches are we going to have running this route okay. and how many passengers are, can uh, they take at a time? Today, we used to, but as from a week now, we'll be using four because uh, we've ordered a number of coaches and we are expecting them in mail. But for the time being, because we don't make the track and keep them, okay. we have to make sure we use them, otherwise it will be vandalized. Mm -hmm. So we are deploying from other routes okay. to make this one work for the uh, trial period. And talking about uh, connecting uh, the, tra the tracks, uh, how soon would the seaports be connected to, to the lines? Oh, we are giving them three months to connect. Uh, it would have been the same thing because they have a four segments, four working at the same time. Okay from a papa to a Butimeta Junction, the Butimeta Junction to a place they call a Papa Lanto. Then Papa Lanto after Abekuta, then from Abekuta to Ibada. They were working simultaneously. Yeah. But because of the occurrences we had in Lagos area, because it's highly built up and we are using our old routes. So on, uh, the way, the way, at the time they started construction, so I found out that there are gas pipes, water pipes. Uh, luckily enough, those things have been moved and more space have been acquired. So they are going to full uh, from uh, this month okay. to wow. hit a papa. If you notice, if you have been to Costa recently, the bridge over the rail is being lifted to have a long, uh, enough headroom to take the modern okay. uh, modern rail. 
So when that is done, the old bridge will, yeah. will collapse it and construction will go to our papa. And we're looking so right at, now, mm. if you go to Agege, go to, uh, uh, before Agege, coming towards uh, Mushin, they are doing the clearing. And being an uh, old rail route, the information is a bit solid, unlike the fresh one. I'm sure that many Nigerians can't wait for the you know, the congestion of the port areas at this very crucial time. The minister was also quoted to have said that by the end of May, the full-length Lagos Ibadan Trail uh, I mean, railway would have been completed. How feasible is this timeline? Well, it, it, those of the, the journalists that have been following us know that as they were working between Iju and Abekuta, they were also doing the same thing from Ibada to Abekuta. Mm -hmm. And the bottleneck was that underpass. And luckily, we went through today. And the next thing is that they start laying track because they have to lay from down north and down south. They have to lay, lay uh, track laying machines. Mm -hmm. So that's why I continue laying to Ibadan. We are hopeful by because they lay, they, the one laying to Ibadan is less three kilometers per day. Mm -hmm. And information has been done. The, the sea, uh, this thing has been placed in place. Ballast, uh, the, Stone dust have been placed in place. It's just a matter right. of laying track. Okay. Mr. Fidet Ohigria, Managing Director, Nigeria Railway Corporation, thank you very much for coming so, to our studios. Thank you, Nigerians, for the opportunity. Glad to have you here.